Hello pretty people, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe so you can join all the fun. So obviously today I am sitting in front of a desk, as you can see behind me, and that is for a very good reason. Because today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 tips for studying just in time for finals. I know that finals are right around the corner, so I wanted to get this video up to share my top 10 tips with you all on just basically how to attack finals and kill it. I know finals can be pretty intimidating and a little bit scary at first, but with these tips, it'll be a breeze. So I implement these tips myself throughout the entire year, but especially during finals time because that's the most important time. As college students, we put so much emphasis on finals. It's kind of crazy, and I think that that's why they seem so scary. But if you just take a second and take a step back and really implement these tips, it'll be easy. So my first tip is to plan out and organize what you will be studying and for how long. You should get yourself a planner or a calendar, whether that's a hard copy of one or just the one that's in your phone, but really use this to your advantage. So for example, I personally love to write out on which days I will be studying for a specific class, and I like to write that X amount of hours is how long I'll be studying because I don't wanna be sitting down for 12 hours at a time and just going crazy because I feel like if you sit down for that long, you're just gonna go crazy. So don't go crazy. You definitely don't wanna put too much on your plate at once because that's what causes anxiety and stress for students. So don't do that to yourself. You definitely wanna give yourself your me time when you can just take a step back from your studying and really just focus on yourself. So by planning this out, that definitely gives you time to have your alone time. My next step is to know what studying methods work for you personally. So for me, I'm the kind of person that has to study on my own first. I have to sit there and know the material before I go study in a group. I love to use both methods to study, but I definitely have to know the material before I go and contribute to a group study session. So my third tip is to sit down and speak out the information that you're gonna be studying. Whether you're speaking it out to yourself or to a friend, it's important that you get the information from your mouth to your ears, and that just makes that connection, I don't know, there's been studies on it, I've heard all about it, you can look it up, but by speaking out the information, it helps you remember it that much better. So definitely do that. Your roommates might think you're a little crazy, but that's okay, because once you ace that exam, it'll be worth it. So let's say you're studying in a library and you can't just speak out your slides to the whole library. What should you do in that situation? That brings me to my fourth tip, which is to sit down and study, but listen to classical music. Spotify has so many playlists designed for studying. There's some that are just pianos, that are just jazz sessions or whatever, but definitely go on Spotify, look them up and see which ones that you like best. I know that I get very distracted if the people next to me are having a conversation or if someone across the way drops something heavy, I'll just like divert my attention to that and I won't really be in the groove of studying anymore. So it just is a distraction. And in order to avoid this, I just listen to classical music and it helps me so much. So my next tip is to relate the information that you're studying to your personal life because that will make you remember it so much better. So for example, this is kind of a stupid example, but it helped me. Um, in one of my classes, we were learning about different diseases and one of the diseases was diabetes. And while we were going through that information, I related that to someone that I knew who had diabetes. So let's say you're taking plant ecology and you have to memorize 200 different plants and what they do, whatever. So what you should do is take a plant, correlate it to someone that you know and make that cross between your personal life and your studies and that will just help you remember it even if it's something stupid like oh my grandma has that flower so i'm gonna remember that now whatever you have to do to remember it just do it so my next tip is to go through all the material and read all the information that your professors give you but go through and take notes and make yourself a mini study guide that's personalized to what you know and what you don't know. So personally, when I go through the slides that my professors give me, I like to write out the stuff that I'm really uncertain about and I definitely need to look over again. The stuff that I have down pat and that is just common sense, I'll just leave that out. If I know it really strongly and I've seen the information before, that you don't have to worry about, but you just wanna worry about what you really are not strong on. But if you sit back and you're like, wow, I literally know none of this, I have to write this whole thing down as a study guide, 
then in that instance, you should read it over a couple of times. And then once it starts making sense in your brain, then you can go ahead and make that study guide for yourself. Then the day of the exam, instead of going through hundreds of slides or hundreds of points of information, you can just look at those few sheets of paper that you made and just review the day of and it'll be way less stressful than trying to go through a million things at once because trust me, I've done that before and it just makes you more anxious and more stressed and then you end up not doing as well on the exam as you could have. My next tip is to either study outside or study by a window because letting that natural light in and just letting it shine through, it just awakens you and makes you more alert for sure. I've definitely studied in a dark room with the artificial light and uh, it just makes me distracted and it kind of bothers my eyes, but the natural light is so much better and it just brings me life personally, so I love to study with natural light. It definitely makes me more focused on the material that I have to study and I'm not so distracted by my eyes being in pain so that's always good i kind of find it too that sometimes the artificial light can make me more tired and that just of course is not good to be feeling when you're trying to study so my next tip is a little bit cliche but it's so true and that is that you need to need to need to eat healthy your body is undergoing so much stress during this time and it's so important that you nourish it with vitamins and the nutrients that you need to get through your crazy week trust me i know that it's so tempting to eat like crap but but if you eat like crap, then you're gonna feel like crap and then you're not gonna be as motivated to study and then your mind will not absorb the information as well as it would have if you would have just eaten healthy. When I'm undergoing stressful situations like finals, my sweet tooth is out of this world. And even my cravings for salt, they just are so amplified, it's crazy. So I know that and I know that in order to avoid that, the week before finals, I need to go grocery shopping and not buy the junk. And if you don't have it, then you won't be tempted to just <laughs> shove it down your throat. So my next tip is a little bit cliche as well, but it is also so true and that is to get sleep. You need sleep, I promise. People who pull all-nighters typically don't do well on exams and that's because it's correlated to sleep. When you don't get sleep, your brain doesn't function as it would have if you were well rested. I promise you, you will do so much better getting sleep versus trying to just retain all the information when it's like two in the morning or four in the morning, whatever. Sleep is just such a vital part of being a student, being a human even, so you need to sleep. So if you're the kind of person who just cannot sleep when you're stressed, try taking a natural supplement like melatonin because that will definitely knock you out. And it's natural, so if you do need a sleep aid, definitely go for melatonin. And my final tip of the day is to have a mindset that you are gonna kill it and these exams are nothing. You just have to walk into your finals like, I got this, I know all the information. Don't feel stressed, don't feel pressured, don't feel anxious. Just feel calm and confident that you know the material. So if you've studied anything at all, you should feel confident that you know that material and you're gonna kill that final. Having confidence and just walking in there like, mm, girl, I know all this stuff will just make you blow that exam away and do amazing. So on a final note, I just wanna say, definitely take final seriously, but I feel like if you're watching this video, you will, so. Congrats, but don't obsess over it. Don't let it control you. Don't stress too much to where you go insane. It's not worth it. Grades do not define who you are. They do not define your success in the future. And just know that everything is gonna work out the way it's supposed to, and there's a reason for everything. So don't stress about it. It is what it is. It'll be if it's meant to be, just like that song. So if you guys have made it this far in the video and have heard all of my 10 tips, comment down below and say, I'm gonna kill finals. I'm rooting for you all. You guys are gonna do amazing. Just put your mind to it and anything is possible. If you guys found these tips useful, make sure that you give me a big old thumbs up and make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. Once finals are over and I'm done with classes and it's the summertime, I have so many fun things planned. So make sure you guys subscribe so that you don't miss any of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> my friend just texted me something so funny. <laughs> I gotta breathe. Okay. Okay.
Time to, time to chill. We gotta record a video, okay? Oh, oh, I'm distracted. Oh my God, I'm so distracted. Who sleeps with the lights on? Not me. Oh, I just shot my eyes. What? Put back my water bottle. Kobe.